All right, hey everybody, and this is Fifty Four Newstar, and today we're going to be looking at part two of our AI. So basically, what it does and all, and this is the dumbest AI. We start with the dumbest AI, and then we go up from there. Is that we can collect our ammo? It will detect us. We will be hurt from it. He cannot see. He then can see, and as you can see, he's walking back and forth, but he's always facing where we are until he can't see us. See, now we're behind something, he can't see us. And the smartest AI, or the next smartest AI, is actually going to be able to, uh, as soon as we hide behind something, he's going to venture beyond that item, as long as he has a certain amount of health, so around 85% health or more, he's going to, um, go beyond that item and say, hey, what's behind this? Uh, I know you were going in that direction, so therefore I'm going to go in that direction too and go after you. So what we're gonna do now is that he goes back and forth. He literally just kind of does what he does. He just monitors the area and we have minus health now, so I'm just gonna pop him. Boom, he's dead. And we don't have any health in the area. We had actually be dead already. I haven't implemented that in the game so we can run this tutorial simulation. Okay, so we're going to go back to the event sheet. So on the enemy AI, it has a line of sight, set mirrored, spawn, the ammo, we've gone over that. Um, what I did for the ammo, though, is on every one second, it will then... Um, so we don't have a machine gun effect. It says every one second, if you have a line of sight, set mirrored the character and shoot the bolt and everything. Um, on start of layout, uh, we have these two little gray boxes which will be set invisible right there. And those monitor basically that allow the character to turn. Okay, and then we have custom collision boxes. So this green one, and we have a gray one over this piece of stone. And that's basically saying accelerate custom movement toward this object. So this enemy character is going to be going toward the green box. Then he's going to have a overall speed of minus 20. And then once he's collided with that, he's going to then flip around and go toward the other box. So think of a ping pong effect. But this time we have, because um, normally what you can do is we can go to behaviors we can add one called a uh, scene or whatever that is and we could have him ping pong back and forth however that does not allow us does that does not allow us um the ability to edit because i can edit in here and go um see he can overlap if he is overlapping he can go to a certain speed but if he's not you know he's going faster than this or something like that i can edit this so i like doing this moment or this uh, type of coding. Also, the file will be down below for you guys to check this out and download it. Uh, the fireball on collision with the player is going to destroy the fireball, but it's also going to subtract 10 health from the player. It's also going to set text to health uh, before we didn't have that, so now we have that up here. And then we have on created, wait two seconds and destroy the little fireball. Okay, um... I'm guessing that's kind of all of it. Again, this is the dumb AI, so I'll put that down below for you guys to play around with. It's usually implemented if um, in all, if not all, type of 2D video games. And that's what usually people put in. So there we go. Boom. We just picked up some health. And we try to shoot. We can't shoot. So. We have to jump over or, or survive the attacks. Boom, so we have some health and then we're gonna go down here. And then this one, there's a, a key or sort of some, uh, some sort of metal ore, something like that we need to collect. And we need to collect so many of those. And we have our inventory and there's metal ore that we need to collect. Okay, so that's it for the basic AI. Um, it's not a lot, but again, basic AI is just 
there to attack enemies. Uh, usually you can put them in mass amounts. Also, what we could have done is we could have oriented this character, the enemy character, toward the player. So instead of, uh, as we say, um, flowing around, or and this is what we're going to do for our flying character. As soon as he locks on or has line of sight of our character, he's literally going to just fly about our character and shoot little... Um, do, or do some sort of attack where he's gonna like try to uh, bop our character or something like that. So instead of uh, ping ponging between these two um, collision objects, he's actually just going to uh, stay within so much distance of our of the character. But what we could have done with our enemy is had him uh, basically ping pong. Uh, some distance from the character so he would constantly go back and forth and every time he faced the enemy he would um, attack him. And that's probably something we'll modify later on with the simple enemy when we get back to it and add some more stuff to it. But basically he's finished. Uh, the file will be down uh, will be uh, downloadable uh, so check that out the link below. Also I'm working on a uh, 3D tutorial so I'm trying to incorporate both of them into this onto my channel and um, it's actually dealing with Link so if you guys like Zelda games there are um, Zelda whatever 3D models for the handheld and uh, I rigged one and set up some animations and I'm going to be showing you guys how I do that because it's very easy to do. I use a website to rig my character and then put animations to them and then I import them into a game engine and then I can actually uh, build my own custom top-down link video game. Yeah, it entails some work, but it's actually pretty easy, easy to do with this engine and then we're actually going to put it into a Android, game, uh, Android uh, gaming console with a... Um, well, there's joysticks, so we can actually have a pretty similar little Zelda um, game going on. And because we don't need that many voices, or if any at all, we can make a pretty uh, decent little Zelda story-based game. I think this is one, I'm just going to make it really simple, like a DLC little thing. A little simple world we can walk around and ask questions and do stuff with. But uh, the next tutorial, guys, for Construct 2 will be a um, moderate AI. So this guy's going to go after you unless he has a really low health. He's going to try to gain some health uh, by getting um, not attacked. So he doesn't need health packs like you do. He just doesn't attack you, he stays away from you, and then he'll go up to a certain amount of health, and then he'll go after you and attack you. Um, and then he'll try to attack in certain ways, or uh, switch weapons, or something like that. I'm still trying to go over what specifically was going to make him different, but there are like several things that make him different, like he's more, um, he's going to attack you more, but he's also going to get away from you as soon as he has so much, um, health under like 50% or 75% he's going to do stuff less or more um, in a way than the basic enemy is just going to just keep on attacking you but if you put a whole bunch of basic enemies in there they're just going to just keep shooting and firing at you and what we could do again with the basic enemy is just have him slightly follow you but maybe that's something we'll do uh, later on. So hopefully, you guys, you enjoyed this quick little tutorial. Put the like, uh, hit the like and subscribe button down below. Comment down below what you would like to see in the next or upcoming tutorials, and I'll see you guys in the next video.